Good morning, everyone. We're on week two, day two of our discipleship study, and today we're going to be looking at Philippians chapter three, verses eight through 15 or 16. So that's Philippians chapter three, verses eight through 16. And in your New Testament, that's going to be back towards the back. And it's Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. So that's where the book falls in the New Testament. So let me read the scripture to you this morning. In verse 8 of chapter 3, it says, Indeed, and this is Paul writing. Remember, Paul wrote the book to the Philippians, or this letter to the Philippians. He says, Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. So in this first section, Paul is saying, I, everything that I had, I, I felt like it was okay to lose because the real purpose is to become like Jesus. What I really want more than anything is to be like Jesus Christ, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may obtain the resurrection of the dead. Paul says the most important thing for me is to know Jesus Christ. He goes on in verse 12 and he says this. This is the theme of our passage today. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who think are let those of us who are mature think this way. And if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. So Paul says in the second part, I I haven't got there. I'm not mature yet. And remember, Paul has been a Christian now for 25 or 30 years. This is the Apostle Paul. And he says, I I haven't reached the, the, the final goal yet. I'm not there yet. I still must press on. I still have to work at this. I still have progress to make. And he says, I don't forget. One thing I do, what what I do is one thing. I forget what's behind and I strain toward what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So here's the thought for today. We're talking about the process of sanctification this week and the process of becoming more Christ-like. And what God wants for us is to be more and more Christ-like, to have growth. In the Bible, one of the examples that's used is that of a tree. And we know that it takes a long time to grow, especially some trees. Some trees grow more quickly than others, but there are some trees that take a really long time to grow because the roots have to go down deep, and then the trunk comes up, and then the branches go out. Uh, And that process of growth takes a really long time. And that's what God it likens the process of Christian growth to is this process of growing a tree. And God wants to grow you into like an oak. That's one of the kinds of trees that he's talking about. Um, as a tree grows, one of the things that you may not know is that there's about four to six weeks during the life cycle of a tree every year when between the bark and the trunk, there's this rapid expansion of new material and it grows really rapidly. And then the rest of the year is when that new material hardens into the hard wood of the inside of the tree. And I think that's a little bit like the process of spiritual growth for some Christians, is that we experience sometimes we'll have these rapid periods of growth in our life where we're really digging into the Word of God and we're learning some new spiritual truths. But then other times it may feel like things are a little bit slower But those are the times when God can take those spiritual truths and solidify them into our lives where they become very real and very powerful for us. So 
It may not always feel like you're always growing so fast. It may not always feel like you're growing uh, stupendously well, but maybe those are the times when God is taking a truth and doing things in your lives. Maybe there's some suffering or some trials that you're going through and God is taking a spiritual truth and trying to harden it in your life. He's trying to make it firm in your life, make it secure in your life. And then there's other times where you are experiencing this rapid spiritual growth. But let's remember what Paul says, not that I have already obtained this, none of us are there yet, or am already perfect, not one of us is perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Listen, isn't that good news? That Jesus has made us his own. He holds us securely in his hand. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, uh, would you continue to work in our lives and make us more like Christ? Please, we need it. Amen. See you tomorrow.